Good morning, all. It's me, Chef Kina. I'm here. Shalom to all of y'all in the faith. Um, bless y'all. Thank you for joining into the channel. Today we're gonna do. I'm gonna do an unleavened bread. I'm gonna do a spiced unleavened bread. Um, it's gonna be a sweet cake, a sweet unleavened cake for breakfast, or maybe something for dessert. Um, we'll go over some different options with it. Uh, so let's run over what you need real quick. You have to excuse my voice. It's barely coming back. Um, I enjoyed a beautiful Passover uh, and Feast of Unleavened Bread with the rest of the saints. Uh, blessings to them all. So, just going to run over a few things that you need. A bowl to mix stuff. <laughs> uh, you got to have a bowl, ladies. Um, first, before I even get to that, I want to explain something to you all. It's called mise en place. Everything in its place is basically what it means. Um, in English, that means have all of the utensils you know you're going to need for the recipe ready. Like this. My flour and my sugar is in the bag. Excuse, this is my... Um, <laughs> My tripod, so excuse me. Um, you want to have everything in, in its place because it saves you time and it makes your prep much easier. You can get a lot more accomplished and it makes for a much better product, a much better turnout on your food when you have everything where it's supposed to be and you're not running around looking for the flour, looking for the sugar, looking for the salt. You don't want to do that. In a real world kitchen, it doesn't work that way. If your stuff is not ready, it's going to put you behind, which is going to put your orders behind. Wait times, and the customers are your first priority. They don't need to wait any longer than they have to. Okay, so now that we got that understood, mise en place, everything in its place. Okay, you're going to need the bowl. We covered that. I am uh, familiar. This is a sifter. Uh... Some people call it a strainer. This is not a strainer. See how the holes are? I don't know if you can see that on the camera. The holes are much, much smaller for sifting. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll use. I use this in all my baking with the exception of my pound cakes. I do not sift my pound cakes at all um, because the denseness is what you want. But this sifter helps bake a much finer baking product. Okay. Anytime you bake something, it is wise. This is a tip. Sift your dry ingredients together at least three to four times. Okay? That's just a tip. That's just something I do. Um, you will need a dough cutter. If you do not have one, no worries. I'm going to do it by hand with what I have. Um, I will not use this. I will run over how to use it, but I will not use it for those of you who may not have one of these. You can also find this at, I don't know, I guess Walmart. Mine isn't the best uh, quality, as you can see. That I've been using it. Um, also, you'll need a fork. you need a rolling pin. For those of you who uh, like to roll things, you're going to need one of these. I will show you briefly how to use this, um, but I will not be using it. I will be using my hands. I'm a hands-on chef. You will see that. You will need one cup measuring, a measuring cup, but it needs to be a cup measurement. You need a quarter cup measurement, which is one fourth. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. Uh, one fourth of a cup. It's a quarter cup. You also need a teaspoon. I mean, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. A uh, tablespoon for measurements. Okay. Now that we got that out the way. I'm going to run over your spices real quick that I'm going to throw in here. Feel free to add what you want. Feel free to do what you want. It's a kitchen. That's what it's for. Um, just have fun, y'all. Stop. It's not that hard. Just have some fun, okay? So anyway, got some ginger. Uh, it's kind of dark. There you go. Got some ginger. Cayenne, this is 90,000 heat units. Um, this is very hot. Allspice. 
my favorite Saigon cinnamon. This is a bit expensive. Um, I think this one cost me seven, eight dollars, something like that. You don't have to get the seven and eight dollar version, ladies. You can get the regular version if your budget is not able to afford that. That's fine. Just get you some cinnamon, okay? And Baida has a good cinnamon as well. Also, some cloves. All right. And there's one other tool you will need. This is um this is considered a zester, but it's also great for clove. And there's also one other ingredient uh also that I add to my spice cake. And that is nutmeg. I use whole nutmeg. See why you need to have everything in place? I honestly forgot, but this is important in the recipe. Nutmeg. As you can see, it comes whole. You can get the ground stuff, which does the trick as well. But you end up, you tend to use a bit more, in my opinion. The nutmeg comes when you buy it like this, it comes whole. Looks like a little nut, hence nutmeg. Um, so there's that, okay? Now, I'm also gonna use a quarter cup of ice cold milk. Um, my milk comes off of a farm. It's, um, it's pretty good. You should try some. But if you if you'd like to use water, that's fine. Some recipes do calls for water. Um, I find that for the sweet cake that I'm about to make, I like the consistency of the milk. It's much more creamier. It's a little smoother, um, and it actually leaves your dough just. It leaves it slightly moist. Um, the cooking time on this is not going to be a full 15 minutes. You really need to keep your eye on it about 10 to 12 minutes because of the sugar. It will cook faster and you do not want it to burn. So what you do is keep an eye on it, ladies. You start smelling it, go in there, check it. Just keep an eye on it. You do not want it to burn. But because of the sugar, it's going to cook much faster and it's probably going to caramelize very quickly on the outside, on the outer edges. All right, so let's get started. Take your, this is actually neat because this one actually fits into the bowl. You take your sifter, get your bowl. I honestly use, what is this? I use King Arthur unbleached all purpose flour for all of my unleavened cakes. Um, I also have a self rising flour here. Um, I also have bread flour and cake flour. Um, I mean, it's pretty much your choice what type of flour you want to use. I stay away from the self-rising because self-rising has a rising agent in it, which causes it to rise. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that one. I wouldn't use that. Um, you can use cake flour if you like. You get a much sweeter consistency in the dough. Uh, I don't want it to be too sweet. Personally, um, I like sweetness, um, and this one is specifically for my husband because he loves sweets. So, this is sweets. All right, bam. Get your cup. I'm going to measure out one cup of flour. Again, I'm using the King Arthur Unbleached flour. One cup. Put it in your sifter. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then sift it like that. Bam. Pieces like this, discard. You don't want it. Okay. So, my flowers in here. flowers in here all right now leave your flour out because you're going to need some to work your space on your workspace 
so that your dough doesn't stick to the surface that it's on and it doesn't stick to your hands and it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. Alright, so leave your flour out. Now, sugar. Here I have a granulated sugar. This is just pure cane sugar, white sugar. It's been bleached. Sorry about that. I do also have sugar in the raw. I prefer the turbinado sugar over any sugar. Uh, but for this particular recipe, you want the sugar to be fine because of the quickness and the time it takes to cook. I don't have time to blend and things like that. Remember, this was made in haste, not in leisure. So, you know, bam, flour. I got one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Now three tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Now for me that's pretty sweet. It's not super super sweet, um, ladies. This is not a candy. This is not a brownie. This is not a um, a pound cake. This isn't meant to be unhealthy in any means. Okay. <laughs> so don't go crazy with the sugar because what we're gonna do is. Um, I may come back and do another video for an, a quick glaze, a quick icing over it. Something real quick. You can just whip it up and drizzle it over and it'll be fine. So don't go crazy with the sugar here, okay? All right. I have dropped my measuring spoon. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to wash it. Ladies, I hope you're washing your dishes. If you're not washing dishes after you drop them on the floor, even in your house, please do not come to my house. Um, no, please don't expect me to come to your house and want to eat, okay? Because I'm not going to want to do that, okay? Be clean. Clean, okay? So anyway, that's clean, that's washed. I have a table. I have three tablespoons of sugar. I have one cup of all-purpose flour in here. Now it's time for the best part my favorite all right <clears throat> the rest of my dry ingredients I have my nutmeg here and what you do take your nutmeg and you put it against the the grated side of this and I don't measure I'm not a measuring chef like that I don't measure certain seasonings because I don't have to I'm big on flavor and low on salt so that's that but I don't know if you can see but as you go across your grater it's breaking down the nutmeg for you see here's the nutmeg notice that it's been shaved now it started off whole but it's gone it's not whole anymore all right Here we have the nutmeg on the inside. All right, top of the sugar, so that you saw that. Take your allspice. I will measure about two tablespoons of allspice uh, for this this recipe. Personally, that's my personal preference, mind you. That's about two tablespoons. <clears throat> All right, ginger. This is my favorite. Ginger is a great thing to have in every dish if you could possibly get it in there, okay? And there's ways of putting ginger in stuff without nobody knowing. So I would say about a tablespoon of ginger as well. Ginger is also strong. It's a nice light spice. Ginger can be extreme. Ginger can be extremely spicy, ladies, if you put too much in there, okay? Ginger is a spice as well. It's considered a spice. So be very careful. I would start with about a tablespoon. I would go to two tablespoons if you don't really taste the ginger as well. If it's not predominant there and that's the predominant flavor you want, I would increase it then. But try it out first because you can taste your dough before you cook it. Okay? This, this particular recipe has a lot of room for error. Okay? 
so you don't have to just put out anything please don't feed your families anything okay because you would not want to eat anything take pride and care and concern into what you're doing okay right we have the ginger in there already we have our nutmeg in there we have our allspice in here see and having having things in place you can easily move things over oh i'm done with this that way you're not over seasoning over salting or overdoing it ladies we overdo it don't we all right so let's let's get that in check let's stop overdoing stuff let's slow down organize things and get it together right you got your nutmeg now cayenne pepper i use cayenne pepper in everything from my oatmeal to eggs pancakes waffles i give a nice dosage of spice not too much to where it's overpowering but just enough to where you know it's there uh cayenne has its own uh health values and things of that nature all right so this use sparingly so i would say maybe a a quarter teaspoon which is one fourth of a teaspoon ladies of cayenne okay now I have my cinnamon I love cinnamon cinnamon is amazing cinnamon has health benefits as well all right back to this back to our grater you come back and you grate it the same way you did the nutmeg smell is amazing now the Saigon cinnamon the taste of this particular cinnamon because it's more than one type of cinnamon ladies the taste of this particular cinnamon reminds you if you've ever eaten a big red a piece of big red gum that's what this tastes just like it's a sweet spice so it's it has a nice spice to it but it's very sweet it's a sweet spice so it's delicious for cinnamon rolls and things of that nature Ladies, if you don't have the time to sit here because of your obligations to your household, you may have children. Um, if you have children and you do not have the time to sit and grate nutmeg and cinnamon and clove, then I recommend a powder form already. Okay, you can get it ground already. You can get ground clove, you can get ground cinnamon, and you can also get ground nutmeg as well. That'll eliminate the time, the few minutes that it would take for you to actually grate it yourself. Okay, so if you want to save some more time, get ground spices. So if you get the ground spices, I would say about two tablespoons of cinnamon and um, about a tablespoon of nutmeg. Maybe half a tablespoon. Nutmeg is very strong. Plus, you already have allspice as well. And those of you who love jerk chicken, the recipe's coming soon. I have to unload, upload the video. We're gonna do the jerk. We're gonna do the jerk from scratch. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, ma'am. All right. We got the clove. We got the clove. Pardon me wiping my nose, ladies. That's inappropriate in the kitchen. I need to wash my hands. Excuse me. Don't wash your hands in the sink, but there's no dishes in our sink because we keep this sink clean. So I'm washing my hands right here. All right. Cleanliness in the kitchen is a must, ladies. I don't know what these feminists have told y'all, okay? You don't have this type of power. You don't have that. The man runs everything. You don't have no say-so. Blah, 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 blah. Who 
Okay, stop listening to them, first and foremost, all right? They're lying to you. You do have power. You just don't have the power that the world views power as, okay? You don't yield that type of power. But you do have a lot of power. You are the chef of your home, okay? So, with that being said, the sole responsibility of your household's health internally starts with you that's a lot of power you mean to tell me i can control my husband's bodily functions i can control my children's bodily functions i can get their urine to be proper i can get their stools to be proper excuse me i know we talking about food but hey you know they go hand in hand ladies you have a lot of power okay you, you just don't know it okay you have you don't know that the magnitude of the power you have because you're viewing it from the world sense of having that title that comes with power okay but it's all right we're gonna get there i'm with y'all i'm working with y'all whatever you know the father puts on my heart to speak to y'all i'm gonna speak but just remember ladies you are the gateway you are the key you want your household to run the way it's supposed to, the way you manage it, the way you're supposed to manage it, okay, under your head, you need to take care of the bellies, okay, you need to take care of this, you need to take care of this, you're responsible for that, that's a lot of power, so let's get the right foods, let's, let's eat properly, all right, your eating has a lot to do with a lot, okay, 70% of your gut controls your immune system, so if you're experiencing a lot of sickness in your house, ladies, and you're noticing your children are just sick and you're not understanding where it's coming from, you might want to take a look at what you're eating. I'm going to post a few videos later, maybe, um, if I get around to it, I'm probably sure I will, of a couple items that if you are a Hebrew and you're following that Bible, you need to take these items out of your house immediately. Um, but we'll get to that later. Let's get back to the the uh, unleavened bread here that we're making smelling good already all right we the last thing we left off on was the cinnamon you should already have your cinnamon in here this is a clove this is a dried clove i don't know if you can see it it's a dried clove it has a little a little hook at the top all right it's dried all right clove is amazing clove bud is awesome um Great smell, great scent. Same thing with the same thing with the nutmeg and the cinnamon. You go ahead and get to it. Now for the clove, I recommend those of you who do not have experience with graters and you're partial to your your fingers getting torn up and, and, and things like that, your nails chipping. I recommend you get ground clove because you going to get messy in the kitchen and your nails are going to get messed up and your skin is going to do this, that, and the third, okay? It's part of the kitchen, ladies. You're going to get burnt, you're going to get cut, you're going to get stabbed. It just, hey, it happens. All right, bam. I put a whole clove in there um, just to let you all know. Now, all my spices are done. All my dry ingredients are here in the bowl. Now, what I like to do personally is take my fork and incorporate it into the flour. So, so you can see. Don't worry if you make a mess. That's what cleaning up is all about, ladies. So bam, I have that there. Now what I do is, this is me. I take my quarter cup and I take my sip again. And I go ahead and I run it back through. Sift it again. All right. And you just get, you know, get as much as you can in here. Go ahead and sift that guy again. Again, this was made in haste. So the process that I'm doing of sifting, they did not do. Okay. This is for us modern day. Hebrews, okay? We want to spice it up and, and do something different and something that your family will love, something that your husband will enjoy, your children will come home or 
your husband will come home looking to snack on as opposed to that Twix or that Snicker bar that you keep feeding him and wondering why y'all going crazy. But that's none of my business. Um, all right. So, bam. Everything, my dry ingredients are in here. Ladies, you can get you a pinch if you would like. Taste it. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, bam. Mine is where it needs to be. Hopefully yours is too if you've been following along. Remember, go heavy on... You can go heavy on certain things, but taste it. Start off with a tablespoon and then work your way up according to your taste. This has the right amount of spice. This has the right amount of sweetness that I'm looking for. It has the right amount of um, flavor. So once it bakes, I'll, I should be able to smell it. Your food should be talking to you the whole time you're cooking. If y'all can smell that, it smells amazing. All right? Bam. Now what I do is I like to clear my area. So I'll be, I'm done with this. I'm done with my one cup measuring cup. I'm also done with my tablespoon. All right? I'm also done with my grater. I'm also done with my sugar. All right? So that clears a lot of space. I'm also done with my spices, so I can move those to the back. Normally, I just put the stuff up. That way, I have less to do at the end. But I'm going to walk it through one step by step with you as if I've never worked in a kitchen. All right. The only measuring cup you should have out now is your quarter cup. All right. All right. My surface has already been cleaned. I got my quarter cup. You still need your fork, dough cutter, and rolling pin. All right. That's all you should have on your on your area make sure you take time to clean and also a little bit of flour okay take time to clean it up the pan that I use I'm going to use for my sweet bread it's just something I got out the dollar store something quick I don't know if you can see cooking pan just something quick a quick one a dollar I got two of them ladies 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 you know you like to shop Stop shopping at Dag on TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Walmart and Target. Yes, Target for y'all who like to be bougie. Um, for stuff like this, okay. For instance, this is the other one that it came with. I've used this five, almost five days in a row. It's not burnt or anything because of this. This is the. Uh, this is some unleavened bread. This is the cheddar. Uh, garlic and cheddar one I did last night for my husband. Um, it smells amazing. Um, and I used it. You don't have to go buy a $30 pan, ladies. Every time you want to cook something, stop being ridiculous. Go to that dollar store. Because y'all act like y'all ain't never been to the dollar store. Go to that Dollar Tree. Go to the Dollar General or go to the Family Dollar. Or the 99 cent store, depending on your location. Up north is 99 cent store. Everything is 99 cent. You know, go get these. Take you five dollars and get ten pans, and you reuse them. Wipe them out, reuse them again. Simple. All right. Anyway, so here is the pan. All right. Take off this nasty mess. Uh, all right. Take off anything that doesn't belong. Trash is always nearby in the kitchen. Keep trash nearby in the kitchen. You do not want to be carrying trash all the way across the, the kitchen, all across, dropping trash and everything. It's very nasty. It's unsanitary. I'm big on that. So just please. Uh, I'm already in like ill. Don't, don't do it, ladies. Just keep things clean, ladies. Please. That way if your husband wants to come in and go to the refrigerator and get some juice, he can clearly walk in the kitchen and get some juice. He doesn't have to step over and step around and duck and dodge from trash. Okay? Keep everything clean, ladies. Clean. All right. We have this. We have our pan. Do not grease this pan. Okay? You do not need grease in this pan. All my cold ingredients, and I also forgot at the beginning of the video... A 
half a cup of butter. That is one stick. Okay, ladies? It's one stick. And if you need help trying to figure out what I'm talking about, how did she get these measurements? I, I'm not a genius like that. They make it easy for you on the butter. Okay? See right there? All right. Now, you're going to need uh, half a cup of butter. One stick of butter. If you are health conscious, I am sure that you can do this with olive oil. Okay? I'm absolutely positive that you can do it with olive oil. Okay? Let me my mess up as I go. Um, I have not done that recipe because I'm not trying to wash my figure, ladies. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I, I, con I consistently work out, so I don't have to worry about certain things because I'm always active, always moving, and it would behoove you to get up and be active as well. Get in that kitchen, girl. Sweat. All right? Now, anyway, we got a cup of butter, a half a cup, excuse me, half a cup of butter that we're going to put in here, okay? Just drop it on in there. Don't be scared, ladies. Y'all act like y'all scared of butter now. This butter is actually an organic butter that I found in the store that's actually clean. It's very hard to find things that are clean to you. Big up to clean to you. Coming soon. Um, they're going to take the guesswork out of it, ladies. Um, when you see their stamp of approval, you'll know it's clean. Biblically clean. All right? Stick of butter. Bam. Down. Into the into the mix all right now this is where your dough cutter comes in because you can cut your butter in just like that just mash down and just